Christmas dinner in a plastic bag. That's the reality for many Brits this 25th. With the cost of food skyrocketing by 16.5% since last July, many people have had no choice but to turn to food banks this Christmas. I was embarrassed at, at the beginning to start off with, and now I, I just feel I need to come anyway because um, it helps me. It, it is very hard when you've never had to do that before, and now you do, but... I'm very grateful. This food bank is run by Fran Statton. With the help of some volunteers, she's able to support those who are struggling most. She's a godsend. She, she's so kind. And she's helped me and thousands of people. So I just can't thank her enough. There are now over two and a half thousand food banks around the UK. Volunteers here see around 50 households every single week. But with a steady stream of donations from the local community, they're able to support everybody who needs their help. We are so grateful for the donations that we get at this food bank. We have been blessed with the amount of the money that we have received with all of the actual donations of food, of toiletries. Everything that we're given is so greatly appreciated by, by us at the food bank. But we do need for it to continue because we are finding that more and more people are coming on a weekly basis. And obviously for us to be able to help those people, we need the donations to be able to do that. As the cost of living crisis continues to bite, the support they offer here is vital, especially at this time of year. The thing with Christmas is it's so it's such an emotional time of year. It ha invokes lots of you know sad memories for families as well as happy memories. So for them to come here and knowing that we can give them um, the food items that they need, it just gives them reassurance that we're here. We're here to provide for them, you know, and we'll give them what we can. For some today, the greatest gift of all will be a full stomach. And thanks to food banks like this one, their Christmas wish will come true. Sophie Reaper, GB News.